you know that this hot spring is open to guys at certain times and girls at others? No way, really? Then there's a chance it could change to girls only while we're still bathing. But if that happens, there's nothing we can do about it. I mean, we're already here, right? That's true. We couldn't be blamed if something like that were to happen. Don't you agree? Well, it's really just a hypothetical question. Hey, isn't it getting kind of hot in here? So, Junpei, at what time does this hot spring change from guys only to girls only? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I didn't bother to check. Right, Ryoji-kun? Right, but it could happen at any moment, couldn't it, Junpei-kun? So that's why we came at this strange time? Oh, you two are such idiots. <laughs> Calm down, man. We we're just joking. Although you're right about it being a weird time to be here. But don't worry. It's pretty late. I doubt any girls would... Shit! Someone's here. What are we gonna do? It's probably just a guy. Don't worry. This is simply a misunderstanding. We'll just act like we didn't know. Wow! This hot spring is huge! Oh, you're right. It's the size of a swimming pool. So, this is an outdoor hot spring. Unfortunately, its therapeutic healing benefits will not help me. Damn it, it's them! What are they doing here this late? Yes! Both Yukari-san and Fuka-san! This is my lucky night! Shut up, you idiot! I'll kill you! Uh, who's that? Is someone there? What's the matter, Yukari? Did you hear something? <clears throat> Mitsuru's here too? Ah, oh, man! There's no way she'll consider this just a misunderstanding. Yeah, but it's not like we could get expelled for this, right? I mean, it was men only when we got here. So it's actually kind of funny, if you think about it. This is Mitsuru we're talking about. If she finds us, she'll... What? She'll what? She'll execute us. E execute us? Yeah, I think I heard something. Fuka, could you check over there? I it could be a ghost. Um, but I, uh... Okay.
There's nothing there. Sorry, it must have been my imagination. Doesn't the water seem a little hot? I'm beginning to feel faint. <laughs> it appears that Yamagishi's ability is ineffective when she's without clothing. Well, well of course it is. To be honest, I am rather surprised by the difference between human bodies. More specifically... Okay, that's enough, I guess. Let's go. I'll treat you to some ice cream. Ice cream would be quite useful. I require some cooling down. Okay, they're gone. Phew, that was close. We never would have survived Mitsuru's execution. Huh? <laughs> Looks like they passed out. Well, I guess that's what they deserve. Everyone remembers what time we're meeting at Kyoto Station, yes? Then please be on time. If any of you are late, I'm the one who will be blamed. I thought Kyoto was gonna blow, but it really wasn't that bad. I guess it's mostly because of last night. You know, in the hot spring? Shh! Yeah, I know. Now keep your voice down. Huh? What's going on, guys? Uh, um, we're just having a, um, reflection meeting. Oh, yeah? What are you reflecting on? Huh? Uh, oh, uh, nothing. Okay... <laughs> Whatever. This is our secret. You guys better take it to the grave. <laughs> 